All right, this is my review of this Lincoln & Co. vehicle. Um, I love the what feels like an iPad Pro here for your navigation stuff. I love how well it travels over the road, how quiet it is. A um, couple things I don't like. The gas mileage kind of sucks. So, uh, of course, if you're going to get this, you know, you want to have the... Uh, use the plug-in aspect as well um, doesn't really work for me for it being a rental car my situation uh, so I can't really comment on that but uh, overall you know the styling's not bad this uh, steering wheel is a little different than I'm used to it's not completely round uh, it does have a big old uh, sunroof in it but uh, it's raining out so we can't show you that and uh, you know it's a pretty decent car. I don't know what these go for. I'd have to assume about 40 euro, 40,000 euros probably, I bet. Uh, if it was, you know, 60,000, it'd be too much. If it was 30,000, it'd be a, I'd say a pretty good deal. But there you go, folks. That's my thoughts on this here vehicle. This is the last video I'm gonna make. Um, you know, had all the power doodads, a lot more on, uh, obviously, the driver's side. Not a whole lot on this side. For some reason this door is hard to open from the inside or, or not able to be open from the inside. Uh, it doesn't appear to... Actually, you know what? That button right there is lit up, but uh, maybe it's because it's driving. You can't open a door while you're driving, right? Sound system in the car is pretty good. Man. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this uh, rental, you know? It's got, it feels like it's got better passing speed, better passing power than the uh, the Audi A4 that we had. Uh, of course, the top end speed isn't as high, but and uh, you know, of course, every time you romp on it, there goes about five dollars worth of gas. But uh, just so you can see, there we go. You know, little pass there, uh, already up to 140 kilometers per hour. And we're just uh, we're just cruising, folks. Um, we're since 1:30. Kick back down. There's speed control cameras all over this freaking country. Definitely, if you're going to drive in this country, get that uh, whatever it is, Waze app, Waze app, W A Z E. I think it is. Uh, whatever reason, Google Maps doesn't seem to populate with all the speed cameras. But yeah, there you go, folks. This is a beautiful country to drive a beautiful car in. Uh, I really like the color of this car, too. Uh, that is another thing that's pretty sharp. Um, seats are, you know, we didn't talk about the seats. Seats are comfortable. I've sat in this thing for about uh, two hours. Uh, now I'm gonna sit in another two hours uh, for a road trip and uh, good stuff. All right, well, there you go. Thanks for checking out my video, folks.